This is a Lotus Eco Elise. It's a high-performance sports car. And not the sort of thing you automatically associate with life in the countryside, but that's exactly where some of the raw materials used to build it have been grown. The magic ingredient is hemp. It's in the body panels, it's in the rear spoiler, and it's also been used in the manufacture of the seats. But hemp is from the same plant family as cannabis. And because of its association with the drug, it was banned in England until 1993. But you can't get drugs from hemp, and so now it's back in our fields and being grown as a crop. Lee, using hemp matting in the panelling of cars seems a pretty unusual thing to do. Where did that idea come from? Well, basically, what we wanted to do here is actually reduce um, the carbon footprint of the car. We used hemp instead of uh, fibreglass because basically it was, it's grown locally to us and um, it's a strong material. Um, and as you can see, the, you know, the effect that it's had on the, on the panels, it's, you know, it's a beautiful material to look at. But what we've done with the Eco Elise is to actually look at the production stage. So looking at all the materials that go into the build of the car, which normally get forgotten about, really. And um, obviously the car uh, is built locally, it's built in the countryside, and we wanted to use you know, local materials as well to actually put into the manufacture, which actually absorbs CO2 as well. Oh, as well as in motor cars, what else can hemp be used for? Well, this shirt and these trousers are pure hemp. Even these boots are partly made of hemp. What do you think? With demand for hemp increasing, farmer Dan Squire has taken advantage of the new opportunities hemp offers. How many acres of hemp do you grow? We've got about 350 acres this year. Um, it's uh, about the ninth year that we've been growing it, and we've got great confidence in the, in the crop as a change crop. And how does it stack up with uh, profitability in comparison to conventional arable crops? Well, we believe, I believe, and I know it's a lot better gross margin than peas and beans, very comparable with really good rape crops, and will even stand on its own feet with cereals. And how easy is it to grow? Well, you, you sow it in early May, late April, into a clean seed bed, a uh, bit of fertiliser, probably half what is required for wheat or rape, and no chemicals from that day onwards until it's harvested. One company in Suffolk have invested in new equipment to manage the new hemp crop. Hemcor run the world's largest hemp processing factory, turning the raw hemp bales into fibres. So this is our technical fibre. Yeah, we take the coarse material and we refine it. We open up the fibres, we clean it up. And this is used uh, in the automotive industry to make things like this, car door panels. And then it can also be used to make insulation materials. And this is insulation material made from hemp fibre. And it has uh, similar thermal properties to the normal products on the market. And what's in this bag over there? This is shiv. This is the woody core of the plant. This is used as animal bedding and when mixed with lime is used in the construction industry. Hemp in buildings could be the future. A mix of lime and hemp packed around a timber frame can quickly be used to form a wall with high thermal properties. How quickly can you use it? Is it easy to use? Is it versatile? Yep, it's very simple to use, very versatile. Uh, it takes about two or three hours to learn how to use it. You don't need any high levels of skill and it's possible to build walls very quickly. The section we're going to see here has just taken a few minutes, but you'd be talking about building a wall full height from ground to roof, if you could mix it fast enough in a, in a day, and um, you get a house built in maybe two or three days at the moment. Ian, the moment of truth. Well, there we have it. And how does it compare in the cost? Well. A wall like this, 300 millimetres thick, um, is pretty identical in cost to a, a brick and block wall. So 300 millimetres like this gives you a wall which creates a building that needs virtually no heating or cooling. And some people are already taking advantage of that. This distribution centre built by Adnams Brewers in Suffolk is constructed mainly from hemp and chalk blocks. The building needs no heating and maintains a constant temperature of 13 degrees. How integral are the hemp blocks in that energy-saving system? 
Well, I think they're very important. Not only do they come with a very high energy efficiency rating, there's also 150 tonnes of carbon locked up in the hemp within those blocks. Now, if we had built this building out of a standard concrete block, we would have emitted something like 600 tonnes of carbon to the atmosphere. So you can see that by using the uh, hemp that we've not only got a great product in terms of the thermal value, we're actually locking carbon away from the atmosphere. Hemp could be the all-singing, all-dancing, carbon-neutral material of the future. Soon we could use it to help grow our clothes, our cars and even our homes.